It's Judgment Day. It's the final games of the season. I'm not going to say anything else, though, because we're still in it. We can still win the title, but I'm not going to say anything. Let's see what the permutations are to make sure that... Hold on, let me get the thumb in the shot. These boys, us, me, Dortmund, us, the fans, the club, win the Bundesliga. Let's find out what we have to do in these two games to win the Bundesliga. Hello there, folks, it's CIJ, and welcome to part 10 of season 5 of Conquer Euro on Foot Manager 2019 with Dortmund. And today, it is Judgment Day, it's the final episode of the season, which contains the final two matches in our Bundesliga year. Now, first off, you can see we're top of the table, so it's in our hands once again. It's been an incredible number of games, but looking at the numbers, how they are at the moment, we have to win both our games against Freiburg and Cologne, and we are assured that we win the title. Any less than that, Leipzig can get back into it. They're only a point behind. And Bayern Munich, of course, can still back, get back into it. We have to lose both games to give Bayern Munich a chance of getting into it. But if we only win one game and Leipzig win two, of course, that means that they'll win the title. If they draw one and, well, if we if we win one and draw uh, and lose the other one, if they win one and draw one, then we still win the title, depending on goal difference, of course. But let's have a look how on earth we've got here, shall we? So first one, we'll focus on the cup. Um, it's just been, as you can probably guess, in April it's been the month of complete kamikaze. We've just completely disrespected and disregarded the fact that we were a good defensive squad beforehand. We just can't defend for Toffee now. Uh, we won that game 5-3 against Orgs, but we went 2-0 down. Um, but amazingly, we went 3-2 up. Um, was that right? No, it was 2-2, sorry. Moise Keane scored in the last minute of regular time. Delaney scored a third and extra time with po Jan Palo, jo Joel Ponjampalo getting one back in extra time. But Origi and Gomez inflicted the damage. It meant that we won 5-3. And then we came on to the Bundesliga. You'll see we won both games there. Um, so the first one, of course, was the game against Hanover. Now, Bayern won their game against Stuttgart the day before. And Leipzig actually drew to Darmstadt in 16th. So that only, got, that only gave them one point on that day. And we inflicted a defeat on Hanover. It was 5-4. As I say, these games have been crazily close. Um, we were 2-1 up. 2-2. Two, 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 uh, no, it was 2-2. Two, two. Because uh, they went 2-1 up, actually. It was 2-2, two, 3-2, two, two, and they made it 4-3, 5-4, and then we... Uh, sorry, sorry, no. 4-3 to them, and then Balotelli got two in close, in quick succession to make it 5-4. And then our, mo re our most recent game, um, we actually beat Borussia Mönchengladbach 4-2. Bayern won their game 2-0, and Leipzig beat Freiburg, who we're taking on today 6-2. Now, the two fixtures we've got, we're playing against Freiburg tomorrow, though... It's the complete opposite because we play the team at the bottom of the table. Leipzig have a horrible um, look and a bit of, you know, that, that lucky draw. It's really unlucky for them as they play Bayern Munich. So they have to win that game um, to keep touch. If we win today, of course, and they lose tomorrow, we've won the league. Um, so what a game that will be. And then the last game of the season, we play Cologne. Bayern Munich play Werder Bremen and Leipzig play against Frankfurt. But let's ignore all the permutations just get into a little bit of football, shall we? This is the team that will take on Freiburg today. So we've got Karius and Goi, Wan Bissaka, Kongracic, and Padu and Horn at the back. We've Eckel and Delaney in the midfield. Wilson and Brun Larsen start on the attacking midfield. The spots we're going to put Brun Larsen actually um, as a winger on support rather than an inside forward. And then Balotelli and Volland start up front. Origi's been a little bit out of sorts recently. So Balotelli is the one who's really come to form recently. So <sighs> let's go, shall we? I, I, I was nervous last episode, believe me. But this time out, oh boy. It's a really nervous one. They're playing a 4-2-3-1. You can guarantee them... Well, you can probably guarantee there won't be any goals in uh, any of these matches now after they've been completely bonkers um, games so far. There was a 5-4, of course, and we won... Was it 4-2 in the last match? So expect goals here. I don't know what's happened to the defence, but I'm just trying to ignore that now in the fact that it's just kamikaze. It's kamikaze football. Um, you know, it's, it's like Sunday League football, quite literally. We're conceding loads... And we're scoring loads. But really, we shouldn't really be looking at that. We shouldn't be conceding loads. And amazingly, we just managed to save two shots from Helder Costa. And a third one from Sammy Kadir. And if we keep doing that, I'll be quite happy. Uh, bear in mind, Leipzig are only a point behind us. So, you know, a draw and a win won't be enough. But say it quietly. And this might ruin the fun of the episode. But I fancy Bayern to beat Leipzig. Which means that a point would be enough here. Um, providing we win the next match. But the most comfortable bit would be is if we win here, and of course Leipzig lose tomorrow, and that gives the title. I'll do a review afterwards, because I don't know who's going to win this. I really don't know who's going to win this. And so far in Football Manager, um, those crucial games haven't gone our way this year. 
but maybe it could. Uh, they're absolutely dominating us at the moment. Freeberg with six shots compared to our one. But can we be more clinical? Eckel to Brun Larsen on the wing. Puts a shot in. Not quite making it. But Brun Larsen goes again. Oh, that's so close. And we are going to go positive rather than not counter-attacking but positive. Um, because we have we have had equal possession to be fair. Um, you know, we are playing half decently to be honest. Uh, no, we'll keep that as it is. We're just going to get the goalkeeper to take long kicks. But boy, every decision, every minute, every substitution is going to be crucial here. And... Uh, it's a real pity that Leipzig and Bayern aren't playing at the same time as us because it loses that bit of real-time interaction between the teams. Um, you know, they already know what the score is when they play. So if we've lost, that perhaps gives them a little bit more motivation, uh, which is never the best. But uh, hopefully we don't have to watch them and know that we've lost. We should be able to win this game at the end of the day because Freiburg are last in the table, but weirder things have happened. A great uh, tackle from Wadby Saka. Now Balotelli ships the focus to the left. Brun Larsson has a brilliant ball through. But it's straight to the goalkeeper. There's going to be a breakthrough at some point. There's been 17 shots overall so far. And, uh, yeah, nearly half an hour in, still nil-nil. I, I said this. I said I knew it'd be nil-nil, even though it's shots galore. I knew these two games would finish nil-nil. But fundamentally, we do need to win this one today to give ourselves the best chance and the easiest chance, I would say, to win the league going into the final game of the season. Of course, as I mentioned, Balotelli. Well, I didn't mention that, but I've only mentioned it now. But Balotelli... He's just coming to the forefront at the end of the season. Balotelli is a man you can rely on at the end of the season. And oh boy, am I right there. Wilson puts it in and Balotelli gets the brilliant header off the corner. Uh, but as I was saying, you know, we, uh, if we win this game, you know, we've, we've, we've got to win both games. If we win both games, we win the title. That's just the way it goes. We're a point ahead. And if we win both games, we win the title. Um, but uh, we're really counting on Bayern Munich doing something to Leipzig here, you know. We're really counting on Bayern Munich doing that. But, you know, if they don't, if Leipzig win, it gives them a lot of motivation, albeit. But the Cologne game is massive then. And, you know, it's still a big game, but I reckon we can win it. So, luckily, and I don't know how it's happened because it's been so topsy-turvy. It seems that no team wants to win this league. Bayern have had a really sloppy season. Leipzig have started to slip up. We've really slipped to win the last few games. And if we win this league, I won't know how on earth we've done it, seeing as our recent form is shocking. But, um, you know, 1-0 what may well be enough here. <laughs> how fitting it would be. To get a clean sheet. Of course, it would be our first win in a real long while back on camera as well. Um, we haven't had a win on camera for a long time now. And if we could win this, and I, I keep saying it. I'm, I'm trying to stop saying about the permutations. I'm, you guys have heard enough by this point, I'm sure. But you can just tell the one side of me is really nervous. But the other side is so excited. Brilliant ball from Hornet to Balotelli. Nothing coming to that. But Balotelli is patient enough to wait for the rebounding ball. Wilson on the right. Can he get another assist? Wilson into the box for Kevin Bolland. He makes it 2-0. Two assists for Wilson. Two goals for our strikers. We've made it 2-0. And uh, what a result this would be. It's, it's, it's three of the six points we need. And uh, we, we've made it not necessarily look easy. But we've done, we've done the job that's required of us so far. And that is fundamentally... All that matters in this fight for the title. <sighs> I don't feel right. I haven't been in this position for a long time. The last time I won a top division title was FM15, crazy enough to say. Um, and I kept, I keep, I kept saying it um, in the Liverpool save, in the Liverpool part of the save. We only won one trophy in uh, FM18, and that was the Europa League. <laughs> How ironic now we're out of that, but uh, we've won, I think it's, was it three Carabao Cups at Liverpool? No domestic success, of course. Uh, and that's what we're fundamentally looking for in this hour. I thought Freiburg would have scored an absolutely world record goal there. Um, but domestic success is what we're looking for in this side to win five European leagues. And based on what we're doing at the moment, we may need a little bit of luck from Leipzig. Um, but as long as we win this game, which looks like it's certainly going to happen now, and go out and win next week against Cologne, we are champions. And Balotelli makes it 3-0. Game over. Simple as. Brilliant game. Um, the players have really given it their all today. It seems that they've forgotten that the defence was awful. I think we're going to get a clean sheet today, which is brilliant. And Balotelli, right on the money. Uh, I'm very glad I've picked him. And uh, we're going to win this one 3-0. I don't know whether we go and watch the Leipzig Bayern game, you know. I really don't know. But I think I am going to stay on camera. Um, I'm not going to cut away because, you know, that result, if it's a Bayern Munich win, will determine our fate. Um, it will determine us as league winners. In fact, if they draw as well, um, if it's a draw, they're going to have to win something ridiculous. I mean, it's going to have to be a massive turnaround. Um, it's going to have to be, you know, sort of a 5-6 goal turnaround in terms of we get battered 4-0 and they batter their team 5-0. But what a result that is. 3-0 for us. 
we should be winning those games really, but it is the end of the season and, you know, league position and all that kind of becomes a bit irrelevant. But oh boy, oh boy, right. Yeah, we're just going to, oh, apparently it's our best ever finished. It's not our best ever finished, it's our best ever finished since the start of the save. I mean, um, you know, we've won the Bundesliga in the past, we haven't won it since 2011-12 to when Kloppy was here. It's been a long time, but can we do it? We're going to do a press conference on camera as well, I can't possibly neglect the press. Uh, but yeah, they keep asking us about Liverpool. I'm really annoyed about that. I don't care about them anymore. Well, I do, but... Oh, right, we're going to fast forward. Tomorrow is the day. It might go a bit glitchy at this point because my I'm ne never the best at coping with the whole um, going through the advancing stage, but oh boy. I'm not even getting... I don't know why I'm getting nervous because it's not even the day yet. The big day is today. Buy Munich, play Leipzig. If Bayern Munich beat Leipzig, we win the title. If Leipzig draw, we need a point in the next match. If Leipzig win, then we need to kind of win the next match. How's it going to be? Not there yet. It's half three the game starts, so we're not quite there yet. Oh dear, this is horrible. This is horrible. The results are cycling through. I don't think they'd have played yet because I think this is, these are the earlier games. But I might be wrong. Uh, right, it's five. Was the game at half five then? It is, it's now. Oh, right. I'm going to close my eyes. I'm going to open them when the result comes through. I'm just trying to keep it there. I can't see. I can sort of see the left of the screen. What's the score? Two each. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Bayern are out of the title race. It's going to be a new title holder. But, uh... We need a point against Cologne and we win the title. Oh, this is horrible. I'll see you guys in a minute. You know, one part of me says... We should easily beat Cologne. But another part of me says... It's the last day of the season. Things never go as planned. It's always bonkers. Well, Harry Wilson's rallied the troops. Uh, we only need a draw. And Wilson believes that a Dortmund victory would be the perfect way to thank their fans for the constant support over the season. Well, a bit of background. We finished sixth last year. Wasn't me in charge, of course. But the finished sixth last year, Europa League football. It's definite Champions League football this year. And it may well be a Bundesliga title if we can pick up at least a draw today. But we want to go out in style. We want to win this match. We've made no changes to that team that went out last week. They won. They won 3-0. We couldn't really change that team. Um, well, this is the biggest match of Cogra Euro so far. Let's see. if we, After five seasons, we can finally win a domestic title. Obviously, a few players last game today. Royce is going to see on in France uh, in June. There's sure, surely to be a few movements in the summer. Um, so, yeah, it'll be a few. Well, in Padu's last goal, uh, last game of his uh, loan spell. So, unless we sign it, it'll be, it'll be his last game. Eckel through to Volland. Volland to Wilson. And Wilson rallied the troops at the start. And uh, he's certainly rallied the fans. We're away from home. A little bit disappointed, to be honest, to be away from home um, for the last game of the year. But we can't do much about it. We've had a fantastic start, and uh, no, nothing else has happened in the league yet. That'll be the, uh, well, it certainly won't be music to Leipzig's ears. It'll be terror for them, and to be fair, they do need a little bit of luck today. Good uh, clearance from Wan-Bissaka. Didn't go far, though, bear in mind. Lauper, surely not Cindy. Oh, I am funny, aren't I? Andre Gomez to Guntner. Guntner on the edge of the box. Shoots. Oh, very nearly a goal for Cologne, but a good clearance from Wan-Bissaka. Um, but to be fair, they are dominating at the moment. It was our only shot that we had, to be fair. That got us the goal. You could say we're clinical, but, uh, you know, <laughs> they've dominated us so far. Fundamentally, we can lose and still win this title. I mean, look at the goal difference. But they're 10 beyond us. They've got to absolutely batter whoever they're playing today. I've forgotten who they are playing. They could, you know, they've got to absolutely batter whoever they're playing, and we've got a bit battered as well. So, I, I don't want to say it, but we should win this title now. We should. Uh, you know, I've, I've been punished for saying these sort of things before. What a shot that is from Lauper, and it forced to save out of Carrius. 14 shots for them so far. They're going to get through at some point, surely. But, uh, 
It's been a cracking season nonetheless. It's been a real game of cat and mouse between ourselves, Bayern Munich and Leipzig. Bayern were the early leaders. They they really uh, struggled coming back in the middle of the season. They had a bad middle of the season. We had our bad form. You know, I said every team has a bad bit of form. That came probably at a crucial time, but Leipzig had plenty of slip-ups as well. We've had a little bit of luck, but I think it is going to be our title this year. But uh, there's still plenty of time to go in this game yet. I know you can say it's over, but anything can happen here. It seriously can. I wouldn't be surprised either. But it, the ball is definitely in our hands. We've got one hand on the trophy, I would say now. But uh, it's certainly not over yet. We haven't got both hands on the trophy yet. And that trophy might become a little bit slippy in a bit if uh, something drastic happens. Gunther to Gomez. Gomez back to Cindy Lope. <laughs> That's just stupid. Right, foreign batch puts it into the box for Gunter to Nicotia and the Arsenal Loney scores for Cologne. That makes it one each. I'd like to, I'd like to go out and win this title. So, well, I'd like to go and win the title actually. But if we won't, if we are going to win the title, I want to win it in style. I want to win this game. A draw wouldn't really cut the mustard. Um, Herfa Berlin have took the lead in their game again. Another very early title contender, but their campaign slipped away. But to be quite honest, to be frank. You know, the Hertha Berlin within 13 points. It's a close total race this year. Um, and I think I've just seen that uh, Leipzig are behind. Let's have a look. Yeah, they're on 69 points. They must be behind for the Frankfurt. Um, they've thrown the towel in, I think. And if we can win this game, we, we win the title by six points. But by, by my calculations, it's the biggest gap we've had all year. Which would be quite a send-off, really, for the title this year. But it seems that uh, Cologne don't want us to have it so easy. I mean, they've had a load of possession, um, a particular amount of shots. Um, but we are going to attack, see if we can get anything out of this game. If we lost, it would be a bit of a pit, bitter pill to swallow. I mean, if we win the title, I couldn't care less. But it's never nice to lose and win the title. It's a bit of an odd one, but that's me looking at the negative, being pessimistic, as usual. But, uh, you know, it stays like this. We can lose 5-1 and we still win the title at this point. Eckel, great tackle. Took to Balotelli. Balotelli can't quite win it. But uh, as I said, we want to win this game, really. We do want to win this game, like every other game. But I'm out of I'm out of comments now. I just want I just want the game to be over, oh, because while the ball's still in play, anything can happen. That's been proven with Man City in the Premier League. About I mean that's what seven years ago now, seven six seven years ago. In this about a decade ago, more than that, with the famous Aguero. And of course, Balotelli was involved that day. Balotelli's just everywhere, isn't he? Good cross into Lopez, and it's a goal for Cologne. Ooh. Well, you know, Le Leipzig could score a lot here and come back into it, but, uh, you know, if they've lost their mojo. I think they're losing to Frankfurt. Bayern are winning 3-0, uh, which is amusing. Eggersteen for the free kick, very nearly 3-1. We need, we need to really score here. We need a few goals. We can't really go out and on a loss, even if we do win the league. And uh, a bit of a spoiler for you, we do have another game after this in this episode. It's going to be an absolute bumper episode, um, because of course we do have the DFP Pokal final. Um, but uh, I didn't fancy showing that in another episode, I didn't really see the point. So we will show it today, it's going to be a massively long episode, so if you stop along, thank you very much. But... Uh, at least the long episode doesn't hint anything about where the title's going to go. But come on, we do need a few goals. At least a draw would be nice. Come on, for goodness sake. I mean, yeah, Frankfurt are going to beat Leipzig because Leipzig have just lost a man. They're down to 10 men. But uh, it's not going the best for us here either. See, even if we're going to win the title, I still can't talk. Um, it's not going the best for us here. We're losing 2-1. But it just sums up how... Nobody wants to win this league this year. That a loss may well be enough to win the title. But uh, fundamentally, we do need to get on with it now. We need to get a few goals. And we need, really, to get back into this game. Because I, I wouldn't, as I said, I keep saying it. And I will keep saying it till full time's up. I wouldn't want to win this title by um, losing. It's a bit of a rubbish way to do it, to be honest. But if that's the way it happens, I'd much rather win the title by... Uh, Losing than winning here, ten nil, and losing the title. So you know it's it's a negative, but if we win the title, that's all that matters. And see, my hope's still not. You know, we're still not um, being complacent. Although to be fair, if we don't win it from this point, 
I don't know what will have happened. But uh, Horn into Delaney. Can we get a goal back and at least get a point here? Horn to Delaney. We'll give Cologne a point if they want it. Gomez. Them certainly not having all three. What a curling ball that is from Gomez. And uh, Bayern have now got up to second. Wow. Leipzig have really bottled it today. Gomez. Ooh, poor ball out, really. Who's that? Toljan. Toljan, not Trojan. <laughs> Lauper. Eggestein. We can laugh, can't we? Because we've won the title, let's be honest. Lauper. Eggestein. Lauper. Lopez. It's all the L's. Blimey. Keep playing one twos, gents. Don't score again. Gunther. Gunther. Sorry, not Gunther. Uh, good ball out there from Wan Bissaka. Origi. Can we get a goal out of this? Origi. Brilliant ball over to Volland. He's one on with the keeper. Can he get it to 2 2? He certainly can. It's an extra point for us. That increases the gap for the teams behind us to four. And can we get another one? Can we get a third? And, of course, get the full three points today. Two minutes to go of the league season. Can we do it? They're probably going to score here, aren't they? And rain on our parade. How dare they? Toljan. Lopez. Lopez. Good ball. To... Is that to Toljan or Toljan? I really don't care. Schurler. That player. Eggestein. He seems to be involved a lot just to annoy us, I think. Schurler with a good ball into the box. Gab ball. Oh, it's a goal for Cologne. Boo. Ah. Oh, well. I don't care. We've lost. It's not the best way to go out, but... Uh... Is this going to be the last ball kicked? It's a corner. Gomez into the box. Posh puts it out. Um... That's the end of the game. It's the end of the season. Again, I'm not going to see if we've won the title yet. I'm guessing we have. Be crazy if we haven't. Surely we've done it, for goodness sake. 6-0 to Bayern Munich. And we've done it. Get in there. Brilliant. <laughs> we've won a title. That feels brilliant, honestly. I haven't done that since FM15. We've won a first division domestic title. How on earth we've done it, I don't know. But we'll look back at some great wins. 7-0 against Stuttgart. 4-1 against Munich. And uh, Kevin Volland getting 17 goals en route. Only three points away from Bayern and RB Leipzig. But uh, a good start, to be fair, for us this year. Um, we, we, did, we actually didn't have the best start. We lost our first game against Leverkusen. But after that, we went on a big run. Didn't lose until we played Hoffenheim. Then, of course, we went on that big run after we played Schalke. Didn't lose up until March, and that was the big secret for us to winning this title. And for the first time since 2012, we are the champions. And uh, there we go, big success to the Dortmund fans. 6-1 to one we were at the start of the year, so, you know, I'll have anybody's cash who won the bet on that one. But uh, the Dortmund are thrilled with that, the, the board are thrilled with that, and uh, 96.8 million for getting that. So I'm going to do the press conference off camera, and I'll see you guys for kind of the farewell games this season. And maybe it's the Dortmund job. Ooh! In the DFB Bacal final in a few days' time. We've won the league, but we go for the double today. We've obviously been in the League Cup final everywhere. We've gone every single season. This is no different. Today we played Bayern Munich, of all people, in this competition. We obviously played our first game in the Pokal at the start of the season. It's a really brilliant um, season running game. Um, you know, we've only played five games in it, but won all of those quite respectively. A 9 0 to start it off 4 1, 1 0, 2 0. Bit of a hectic semi final in today's game. Puts up against Bayern Munich, in which will be an interesting one in to see if we can, whether we can win the double. Um, the same team gone for this one, to be honest. I, I don't want to change it at this point because I'm not particularly bothered. You know, we've won the league. <laughs> I still can't quite get over that. We've got success here much quicker than we got it at Liverpool. I don't think it will be hard. I think it'll be a lot harder a second time round to win the title because. I think that we've got a little bit lucky this year. To be fair, we had a brilliant middle stage of the season. I'm not questioning that at all. But I also think um, that, you know, the other team slipped up. And when, when we slipped up, other teams slipped up, which gave us a much better chance, to be fair, for us to win uh, silverware this year. But I don't think it's going to be the double. I do think that they're going to have the upper hand against us here by Munich. Uh, they've took the lead already. You know, uh, I don't quite know what's gone on it since we had that bad run of form. It's just gone absolutely kamikaze. Um, and our, our, our objective in games, and my objective in games anyway, was to just keep ahead of the other team and get more goals than them. Rather than our defensive prowess. I don't know why we've gone for that tactic, but it seems to it seems to have worked to win the title. I don't think it'll win today. Um, but yeah, I don't think it would be very tricky um, to retain our title next year. 
I'd, I'd quite like to stay and try and retain our title. I think that'd be a good idea. But for the good of the save, bear in mind that we have got, you know, five nations to win the league in. Germany's been one. We've ticked Germany off the list. We can leave Germany now if we want to. I mean, we're, we're, we're highly regarded here already for Dortmund. So if we want to win a double and, you know, retain our, our, retain our job um, and our title and silverware, then, yeah, we'll try and do it. But, you know, if a team comes knocking in Spain, Italy that's got potential, then we may well move there. It might be a bad decision because Dortmund seems like a safe job at the moment, but we need to go and win in five different nations. It's not about winning five five leagues for Dortmund. It's about winning five different nations and building our name in Europe. So we've done it here. It was a very easy one in the end, actually. Not easy, but compared to Liverpool, Jesus Christ, it was... I mean, wow, what a goal that is from Eccle. And I'll tell you what, he's been a big man for our season this year as Eccle. He's just been an outstanding player for us, no question about it. But it's been an easier season for us because I don't think there was much expectation on us. They finished sixth last year, um, and I think going into the new season as champions, there'll be a massive expectation on us next year. But it seems that Bayern aren't the force they used to be, you know. Um, you know, we were constantly banging on about the fact that Bayern are the big opponents, and they were always the big opponents. And I think that they did manage to finish second in the end, but Leipzig were the big opponent all throughout the season, ultimately. And whether Bayern just had an off year, I'm not really sure, but... We had a great year. So did Leipzig. They missed out in the end, but, you know, we can be very, very happy where we've got to. We got to the quarterfinals of the Europa League. We won the Bundesliga, um, and we've got to the final of this competition. I don't think we're going to win it. Um, even though, to be fair, there's only one more goal for us to get, so you never know. Um, but Wilson, a brilliant run from Harry Wilson here. What can he do with it? And it's a free kick. Uh, Van der Beek impeded him there. You'll notice the highlights are a little bit quicker because it might sound ridiculous, but I do want to get this one out of the way. Um, you know, it'd be brilliant to win it. But because we've won the league, we've done all we need to here. I mean, another trophy is brilliant for us, absolutely. Um, but we've done all we need to here. And if a job comes up in the summer, I will take him. You know, it might not be the best for our reputation as a, you know, turn into a little bit of a journeyman. Um, but we might be here the start of season six. We might not be. I'm not quite sure. Um, I certainly don't want to diminish our um, reputation with the fans, though. I don't want to lead them into the start of the season after about five games, right, I'm off. Because that would be silly. Um, if we're going to make a move, we're going to make it quickly. Um, and to be honest, I don't know where to go next. I mean, Germany was a freak decision to come here because the offer that was on the table that I fancied was Tottenham. Uh, Dortmund came to us, they had a bad season. It wasn't the squad they used to be. I'm not taking all credit for improving this squad because it's not all my you know, not all my team because volland has been brilliant this year. Brun Larsson has been as well. So has Eccle. Um, but our signings have certainly helped. The likes of Balotelli, Origi, um, Wan Bissaka's done well, to be fair to him as well. Carriers has done decently, apart from some of the spills he's had later on in the year. But uh, it's been a really good team effort this year, and I can't complain about the players whatsoever. And uh, it's nice to win a title. I, I, I did feel that it would get a little bit easier as soon as we went out of England. Um, but we have got to go back there. I promised myself that. We've got to go back to England at some point and win the title. Um, because we are incomplete. Our work isn't done over there. But uh, our work is certainly done here. We've done what we need to do. We've won the title. Uh, it'd be nice to win a double, even though I can't see it, because Bayern are all over us at the moment, like a hot, like a rash. I was going to say like a hot rash. That makes no sense whatsoever. But uh, Bayern are only one ahead. We've had more possession, unbelievably. I'm not really focused on the match. I'm just rambling to you guys now. But uh, I think this one deserves a like, you know. It's been a great season. Only 10 episodes, but uh, a great season. And our first title, which is brilliant. What a run from Wilson this is. And it really should be deserved. Uh, credited with a goal. But it hasn't been, unfortunately. But it's a great... Well, a great. See, I can't speak. I still can't speak. A great run from Wilson, nonetheless. Rafinha, though, into Coman. A quick counter-attack from Bayern. Good tackle, though, from Horn. Can we get another counter-attack down? I'm not quite sure. Brun Larsson. It's Brun Larsson's turn to have a run. No, it's not. He's just going to whack it up the pitch for Balotelli. But Hummels is wise to that Mavropanos. And it's a good defensive clearance from Bayern. And uh, this is getting a bit boring to watch. As I said, I'd rather win this match or just get on with it. You know, I'm quite happy to call it a day there if uh, Bayern are happy to. Bring a Rigi on, though, for um, Kevin Volland at this point as a uh, poacher. And we're also going to bring on um, Marco Royce for his final game for the club. He's been a great player for us. Um, you know, talking in the past, not necessarily this year. He's not done a hell of a lot this year for us, but... You know, he's been a great servant to Dortmund. He's been there for a long time, to be fair to him. Um, and, you know, he, he said he wanted a new challenge, so fair play to him. And to be fair, we wouldn't be playing him too much. And for a player of legendary status like Marco Royce, 
um, it would only be fair to give him that um, last request, if you like. But they are free one up now. We're going to tell the players who demand a little bit more off them. But, to be honest, for Bayern Munich to only win the DFP Pokal uh, this year, it's a real underachievement for them. And uh, their boss may well get the sack. But no, we're not We're not hinting at all. We're not going to Bayern Munich. We're not going to Bayern Munich. That would be ridiculous. Not so much for the upheaval that would be with the fans, boy. But, uh, you know, we, I reckon we ought to be at least favours personnel here at, at Dortmund. You know, Klopp won the title and he's a legend here. I mean, I know he was here for eight years, for goodness sake. But we've done similar to what Klopp's done in a year. Maybe we'll uh, take another step in Klopp's footsteps and go to Mainz. I can't see that, though. Um, but uh, Delaney, Royce, Royce back in the middle for Ickle, Ickle back out to Royce, we still can't decide on his name, it's been a season we still can't decide what the blooming hell his name is, but Wilson, Wilson poor ball through though, and they're back on the counter attack again, I'm starting to lose my voice now because I've been rambling for so long, Rafinha, Rafinha into the box for Horn, oh dear, it wasn't even Horn who touched it, that's our defender, but Lewandowski scores a second goal, I think that's going to be it in this game to be honest. But again, am I bothered? Nah, not really. <laughs> if we'd have lost the league and lost this, it would have been real sour grapes. But, uh, you know, we've won the league. I'm more than happy with that. A bit of an embarrassment here, to be quite honest. But, you know, oh well. We're also going to bring um, Wilson off for Pulisic at this point. I know it's not really much of a change. But Wilson now wants to stay at the club. He's not interested in going to Real anymore. I said that maybe winning the league would give us that boost. Um, Origi's got a bruised angle, but will it really matter? He's not going to be out for three months, is he? God forbid. Um, can we get three late goals? I doubt it at this point, but uh, it's been a fantastic season. We've won our first point of silverware, um, domestic silverware anyway, in terms of the league. And hopefully we continue and go and do that somewhere else now. You know, maybe, we'll, well, we'll see, won't we, whether it was a lucky season or whether our, our um, you know, whether our tactics do work in foreign countries or whether we just got a little bit lucky, unlucky with Liverpool. I don't really know at this point. I can't comment on that, but uh, we've got a counter here. Good ball from Pulisic to Ari. Can we get one back? We can't, I don't think. That's a shame. But uh, wow, it's been, as I keep saying, it's been a brilliant season, and uh, yeah, it's now. Oh no, it's not fair play, Carius. I was going to say it's going to be five-one, but it's not. And yeah, wow. Two minutes to go. They are going to win the cup, but we've won the league. We've got bigger fish to fry than this. Whew. To be fair, the board won't be too happy with that. The fact that we've just completely... We haven't disrespected this game at all, but we've just kind of forgot that we had got a duty here. But we've won the league. The board, I'm sure, will be happy. You know, we've we've lost this. Who cares, though? And we'll have a final look at the competitions to see how we've got on. And then we'll say farewell for this season. But what a great season it has been. I keep saying it, but I just can't get over that we finally won a league. Buy and win it. Fair play to them. Uh, you know, brilliant. We've got we've got 2.29 million for it, fair enough. And what a great way the season's gone. I mean, we didn't quite reach what the board wanted in the Europa League quarterfinal, but we won the league and we got to the final of the DFP Pokal. And I call that a very good season. Screenshot that, folks, because we might never get there again. Thank you very much for your support this year. It's finally been a trophy year for us, so finally a domestic success year with the Bundesliga. Can we go and do it somewhere else? Where will we be next year? You'll have to find out tomorrow. Thank you very much for watching, folks. I've been TIJ, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.